previously on the season. Well, you guys have all worked really, really hard. I'm very appreciative of what we've been able to achieve so far. What you've done is brought the whole offense closer to them. Has everyone done everything? So that's a no. Far out. We're going to soak up the heat better than they will. Get on, get them back to halfway. Yep. Tell them to start being patient. BBC atop of the GPS table. But there is no smug feeling of self-satisfaction from coach Shane Drum. Well done on the win. OK, we got away with it. I think back two weeks ago and I thought the last thing I want is regrets. I didn't want to come here, lose a game and have regrets as a coach that I didn't do enough work. So I did about 100 hours watching videos. And I'm not after, after recognition. Why I'm telling you is because I didn't want to have regrets. I didn't want to be complacent. Okay, from the minute we started training this week, that's all I've seen. Be happy that we got away with a win and that we're still alive. But if we play anywhere near that last next week, we will get pumped. That's me being brutally honest. Okay, you're all 17, 18, so you need to be able to take this. It's a harsh but fair assessment, and understandable given the newly implemented expectation for success. But time for reflection is fleeting, as the school counts down to its biggest sporting event in recent GPS history. Quick march. Music plays a prominent role in BBC life, and tonight one of the school's second row forwards must put aside his headgear and mouthguard for a gentler but equally intense performance. Um, so this is just the grand concert, it's pretty much the big concert for all the music um, departments where they come together and play together. Yeah, so I'm playing in the year 12 all-Stars band, so it's um, a band we played with the Powderfinger guitarist Darren Middleton in his songwriting competition we hold here. When are you playing? Are you like, at the end? Or? Yeah, like 15 minutes. Oh, it will be done by 8.30. So I started playing piano when I was eight years old and eventually I picked up a guitar and I don't think I could put it down. Top three, four. Okay, so when, when, also when, you, when you're doing the there, like think hand slow, rather than going like like you're gonna fall off your guitar or something like that. I usually just practice between studying and uh, rugby training, so I'll go to dinner and then I'll go play guitar for about half an hour, 45 minutes, then study and then I'll play for another half an hour, then usually I go to bed after that. It takes patience and I think with rugby you need to be patient for things to come together right. With guitar playing you're not obviously going to get the, the solo or the riff right first and you just got to keep practicing. It's like catch pass. You just got to keep doing it until you get it right pretty much. I saw your shoulders turning down Your face was staring at the ground Your hands were shaking covering your eyes Whoa. Changes me to see you now Standing there so coldly Changes me to don't know how It changes me Changes me. 
Sick. thinking about the game just nervous or think, overthinking it or no just everything and then I was also just thinking like if we won how amazing that would be yeah <laughs> and then that just kept playing in my head and then I was like excited and yeah just more keen than anything else sleep alright last night or yeah yeah no I was all good we went to bed pretty early you nervous about the game tomorrow so yeah I've been nervous since also. like as soon as the whistle went Saturday yeah okay what are you nervous about I don't know I just don't want to lose everyone, was, everyone knows the goal What's the goal? Obviously take it out, yeah. take out the premiership, that's the goal, yeah. that's the big goal. But nah, nothing will change. I talked to some of the other boys this morning, they said some of them are a bit nervous and couldn't sleep last night and that sort of thing. What yeah, about? I couldn't sleep last night either. Okay, what about tonight then? How's that going to be? Ah, that should be, should be good. Just go back to, yeah. go back to bed. Yeah. Oh, so many boys haven't been able to sleep. I was speaking to Boyer last night in the boarding house and he's saying he hasn't been able to sleep properly since Monday. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> The fixture carries even more weight, given that it falls on Old Boys Weekend for the school. And there are constant daily reminders of the impending occasion. Uh, today is the uh, decade reunions of the 09 luncheon at uh, BBC. One of the highlights, I think, will be the uh, rugby game against TSS. Both teams are unbeaten. Promises to be a pretty good contest. The school was known in my day for his rowing prowess, but rugby in particular seemed to be a, uh, a fiercely contested competition, and still is, obviously. I'm sure the team, the first 15 tomorrow, will be all out to beat TSS. We knew the spectacle that was going to be on that Saturday. And anyone you spoke to, parents, uh, old boys building up, you heard stories of people flying in from overseas. BBC hadn't really experienced that level uh, of excitement. When you're coming off thinking that there's a good shot at a premiership here, the messages are out there in the community that this is going to be a high performing uh, team uh, and one of the hinge matches is going to be against TSS. The coaches even said to you, we don't need to hype you up, we don't need to tell you how big of a game this is because we know that you know this. Jimmy, five. The team moves through their final captain's run. Ready, same call. Safe in the silence of Miskin Oval. Six is a but tomorrow, war cries from two great rival schools will fill the air. It is pretty important to have a have a good sideline culture, I guess. Even though you don't really notice it on the field that much, in pauses and stoppages in games, it's pretty important to have um, have that cheering when you're down. The BBC spirit is incredible, really. It's not really something you get a good feel of unless you're actually in it and a part of it. But I think it's incredible the way the boys get around each other. And it's not just in the rugby, in the, the rowing, in the cricket. Just remember, don't eyeball the 12 straight up. Eyeball 10 and then... Eyeball 10, even though you know you're probably shifting on the 12. Let's get excited. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of chat around the school, around big crowds and that. OK, let's make sure we get good sleep tonight. It's important, I know. Some of us okay, aren't sleeping too well. You know, after watching the last few days, OK, we've trained well, we're executing well, we're looking good, boys. Tomorrow it's really important we control our emotion throughout the day, OK? So um, I know a lot of us will be very keen to get down here nice and early. Just stay up in your room, I guess, for a bit and then come down. It's a game of footy against 17, 18 year olds. Yeah. Like, it's a big occasion, but let's just play like every other game. What's it doing? What's it doing? Oh, this is looking like a masterpiece right here. Big occasion. Perfect tape. Calls for the big jobs. Don't jinx me though. This is what it's all about today. Just look forward to all year. The final bit of icing on the cake. Yep, this is just window dressing now. Now that is pristine. There is no better place to gauge the raw emotions of any player than on the physio's table as they strap for the battle ahead. Oh, they're all nervous. I haven't seen them this nervous before, but that's good because I've seen them very lax at other times as well. So I'd rather see them nervous than 
thinking they're going to stroll in and win here. But physically, we're in good nick. Uh, we've come to the sixth game of the season with every single starting player there and a good deep bench. So as far as how the coaches feel, it doesn't get much better than that. But it doesn't get much worse for reserve fly half Mason Gordon. What'd you do to it? Who has been injured in an earlier game, ruling him out of the main match. Are you good? Is that when you went down? No. When you're like this? That was, that was a bit. Just. Oh. It'll be good. Mum and Dad are down. If you need to go somewhere now. Oh, I can't just do Because your mum's at the airport, isn't she? No, she just got back. Oh, she's back now? Yeah. Got a referral, Mason, from the doctor? Like a scan referral or something? Oh, yeah. Hey? Got a fracture. A fracture first minute cut up. Yeah. yeah. The collisions are like adults. It's schoolboy rugby, but you've got some 100, 120, 130 kilo kids running around out there. The collisions you see are like getting hit by a car. They're kids that are receiving adult injuries at times, and these guys put their bodies on the line. Oh, 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 Let's go, Lucas. Good hit, Jackie. We've worked hard for this, haven't we, boys? What we've tried to build, and we've built it. OK, and you look out there, that's... That's not because we're undefeated, that's because we've built something special, okay? We've built a culture, okay? So today, you know, we're playing for us, we're playing for our brothers, the 14 guys next to you. Go Jimmy! Go Jimmy! Look at the Howie behind here. Hold it, hold it George. Call it Jack! Turn over. Turn over. Uh, fellas. Steve-o, don't go yourself! I can't talk down there, there's no space. Standing in front of people. Mate, they're, they're vulnerable, we got space there. Tell Steve-o to deliver. He's got to deliver. What about that, sir? Off the ball. Lucas, come. Go, mate! Craig, can you get on? Just tell Jacob. You've got to be patient. That's perfect. Look for those opportunities. OK? But most of all, just keep being patient. Great pass, Howie. Good run from Jimmy. Mason, just tell him to strike through it. Yeah, I got ya. Go, Jack, look for space. Go, mate. Go, Huffy. Go, Huffy, go, Huffy. Well done, KK. Yeah! Points, points. Nice scrum, nice scrum. Yes! 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 Knock on, yes! What are you saying? Jacob wants to know if we're going for points. Yeah, we won. Yeah. Scoreboard pressure. Jacob, yes! Jacob, yes! Go, mate! Go, Tini, go! Go, Tini! Yes! Same again. Exactly the same. Patient. Play it down there. You know, we spoke about they haven't been put under pressure. Now they're under pressure. Tell the boys, let's keep it on. Well done, Lucas. All good, bro. All good. Swing easy, bro. Swing easy. Felt like a dream. We put one try on and I thought, wow, this is awesome. And then we put two and I was like, what is going on? This cannot be real. Never expect that to happen. And it just felt amazing. I was like, oh my God, we've got this. I was going into that game being extremely nervous, particularly looking at TSS's past results. Get off the ground forwards, get off the ground. Go, mate! Oh, the start is probably the best start we've ever had in the game. And I think we're all just shocked. Yeah, I was just surprised of how well we were going. 
probably the best half we ever played all season. It was a great performance, but to stay at that high level of intensity, it's quite hard for the full game. We need to get a kick in now. They just need to score one try, and this is the this is the time. Jackie, come on, fly this one through, mate. Give it to us. Give it to us. No. Okay, we're gonna roll on tries. Mason, just before the next kick, just tell them, tell Jack to slow it down. There you go. Just that first 35 minutes, we maximised how we were meant to play as a team the whole season. Like that was the pinnacle of our game, and it was good footy. I was quick-paced footy. I think I was probably knackered after the first half. Great pressure. That'll do. Boys, we got to be patient here. We don't let them score. Yes. yes. Great pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Great work. Great half, boys, great half. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're back to nil all, and we need the same intensity, same pressure. Go, boys, go, 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 You know, we'd spoken in the lead up to that game about putting pressure on um, Southport. Talk to Jack, tell him to come here. Tell Hoffy to cover blind. And we saw the effect of that. You know, they were, they were on the back foot the whole of that first half. Inside ball to Fafita, Fafita, Fafita will score. Good sides are always in the contest and we knew that Southport would come out in that second half really, really hard. Tell Taj to look for this wing here down our side. Look for Drami's wing. This was a, a key moment in our season. They knew too it was a key moment in their season and so uh, they came out, they had regrouped, regathered themselves. Oh. That'll do. Here we go. Here we go. Shut up, focus on our own game. Focus on our own game! There were a couple of situations where we released pressure. You know, we spoke about at half time about keeping them under pressure, keeping the ball down their end, making it hard for them to score. Get Oscar warmed up, Teenies. Oscar warm up. I want him to game manage better. I wanted the the game players to game manage so we weren't wasting energy trying to run it out of our half. Hoppy, get out! When they scored a try, they kept in close range with their, their goal kicker was, was phenomenal. They, they started to game manage better than us in the second half and they did what we wanted to do. Oh, no, get some saying, energy on. Do you want Oscar now or wait for a bit? Start talking in the back line. Yeah, Absolutely Oscar. Dead quiet. Potty, let's get Oscar on. I just wanted it to be over. Like we were up, we were working hard. Like they had possession of the ball. Like I guess most of that second half, and it was just like no one wanted to make that mistake for them to score. But I just wanted it to be over. Like it felt longer than a usual second half. BBC can smell something happening outside to Howarth. Howarth rumbling up the middle, great defence by their opposition. Have a look at the right side, right side, right side. Stevens looking out. Right foot step, try time. Try, Jack Howarth. Close this out for us, mate. Lift the intensity, close it out for us. Go on there and say, I'm fresh, get up to my level. This is ours, let's go. go Tini off. Go, go, work for us. Go, go, go. Go. 
the game itself has exceeded the hype. It's on Taj, it's on Taj! With drama at every turn. Each team has been presented with opportunities to gain control of the match. Holding on. I need that energy. I need that energy, that line speed, and you need to get behind the boys and say, this is the whole season online here, okay? This nine minutes decides a premiership, all right? Switch on. We're mentally stronger than they are. Let's go. Work your ass off, mate. Yeah. While both teams are calling on their bench to replace battered bodies, the most critical difference is the conversion of pressure into points by the Southport goal kicker. Well, fatigue setting in, you want to make the right decisions. Bowen Bauer spots some space. Puts it on the boot. Let's see what happens here. There's some wheels for both teams. Roberts looking around. Missed tackle by Bowen Bauer. Oh. Ball goes back. Referee says play on. Hold the phone. Here we go. Ripley. Ripley. That's been the difference, mate. Goal kicking. We've left eight points on the board. Uh, two minutes to go. Two to go. Building pressure, building pressure. Pressure, that's it. That's it, pressure. Let's go. Let's go, Howie. Fly half, getting Howarth. Howarth, Howarth with the right footstep. Howarth, he's hard to put down this afternoon. Oh, he's fighting for every metre. It's been lost forward on the ground. It's been lost forward on the ground. There's 30 seconds left. 30 seconds, let's go. Last play, guys. Form up. Last play. Pressure, pressure. Devo, Steve on the kicker. I think we made 15 or so metres and we're coming towards the try line and then to see the ball get knocked on and just the ref blow his whistle, just, it just felt horrible to be honest. Just a feeling of despair, just couldn't do anything about it. Steve, I was reaching for the ball and I heard the ref blow the whistle. I remember yelling at the ref, telling him he's made the wrong decision. They've just got to kick this out, I think. They've just got to kick this out. They've got a pressure. I knew there was time left in the game and I just wanted to make sure we got that scrum and, you know, hopefully we could get a miracle and win the ball back. I remember patting everyone in the scrum on the back as hard as I could, saying, we need to win this scrum and I knew it wasn't the end because anything can happen in rugby. Next time on The Season. Potty told me that I made the Queensland white team. You've never thought about becoming like a physio. To treat myself. <laughs> yeah, to treat yourself. You're doing it for your mates, you're doing it for your school. There's probably not a lot of opportunity for young men to be involved in something and as focused as GPS rugby. Oh, smokes! For more information on Brisbane Boys College, go to bbc.qld.edu.au.